Are your games dropping FPS or feeling sluggish even with a powerful Nvidia GPU? What if the real fix is not a new upgrade but hidden settings inside your control panel? Today, we are digging into the most overlooked Nvidia options that can unlock massive performance. Get ready because these simple tweaks can transform your gaming experience completely. Make sure to subscribe and like so you never miss more performance boost. Let's dive in. So guys, open your search bar and type Nvidia. Then select NVIDIA Control Panel and open it. Once it's opened, go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview. Choose Adjust Image Settings with Preview. Select Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings, apply the change, and then continue by clicking Take Me There so you can access every option that impacts gaming performance. Start with Image Scaling. This should always remain off when your goal is maximum FPS and minimum lag. Upscaling tends to introduce artifacts and extra processing that do not help competitive performance. Lowering your in-game resolution is far more reliable than letting the driver upscale it, so keeping image scaling off is the correct approach for smooth gameplay. Next is ambient occlusion. Leave this disabled. It adds subtle shadowing effects but demands GPU power that is much better used for raw frame rate. Since we are pushing for the highest responsiveness in games, keeping this setting off avoids unnecessary strain. Move on to anisotropic filtering. Set this globally to 16 times. This option is one of the rare quality settings that gives you a visible improvement in texture sharpness without costing performance. Surfaces look clean and detailed in almost every title, which helps clarity during fast movement. FXAA should remain off. It softens the entire picture and introduces blur, especially in shooters where clarity matters. You should use the in-game anti-aliasing options instead because those usually provide better quality and control over sharpness. Anti-aliasing gamma correction also belongs to off. Modern engines automatically manage gamma behaviour, and allowing the game to handle it keeps lighting consistent and reduces potential visual bugs. For anti-aliasing mode, use Application Controlled. This gives each game the freedom to apply its own AA system, which is always more efficient than forcing a global override from the driver. Anti-aliasing transparency should be disabled too. It barely improves visuals and can cause small but pointless performance losses, especially on mid-range systems. Now look at background application max frame rate. Turn this on and set it to 30 frames per second. This keeps your system stable and responsive when you alt-tab out of a game, preventing the GPU from running at full speed when it is not needed. For CUDA GPUs, select All unless you have multiple GPUs installed. If you do, make sure your primary and most powerful GPU is selected. This avoids inconsistent performance in games that rely on CUDA acceleration. Keep the CUDA system fallback policy on driver default and turn every DSR factor option off. Dynamic super resolution is great for image quality, but here we are focused purely on achieving top performance. Low latency mode is extremely important set it to ON. Ultra is often misunderstood, and in many systems it actually increases stutter instead of reducing it. Keeping it on the regular ON setting reduces queuing and gives more consistent input responses. Max frame rate should be OFF. If you want to limit FPS, always do it inside your game, since those limiters are more accurate and less prone to causing micro stutters. Turn multi-frame sampled AA off as well. It is outdated and takes extra resources with almost no benefit. Leave OpenGL GDI compatibility on auto. It rarely affects modern titles, but auto ensures nothing conflicts with basic rendering. For the OpenGL rendering GPU, manually select your GPU. Leaving this on auto can sometimes let the system pick the wrong device, so explicitly choosing your card avoids unpredictable behaviour. Power management mode should be set to prefer maximum performance. This forces your GPU to stay at its highest performance state during games, which prevents sudden dips or downclocking. 
Shader cache size should be set manually instead of driver default. Choosing between 1GB and 5GB helps reduce shader-related stutter, especially in large open-world games where caching is important for fluid performance. Next comes the texture filtering group of settings. For texture filtering quality, you should select quality if you want a balanced look or performance if you want the highest responsiveness for competitive play. Avoid both high quality and high performance because they can introduce inconsistent behavior. Threaded optimization should stay on auto. Some engines handle threading differently and auto ensures the driver adapts to each game appropriately. Triple buffering can remain off. It is primarily for old OpenGL titles and offers no advantage in modern gaming. Vertical sync should be set to use the 3D application setting. If you experience screen tearing, enable V-Sync inside your game instead of forcing it from the NVIDIA control panel. This avoids frame time irregularities. Virtual reality pre-rendered frames applies only to VR setups. If you use VR, keeping it at one gives the best balance of clarity and latency. If you do not play VR games, you can simply ignore this setting. Finally, the Vulkan present method should be left on auto. Vulkan is becoming increasingly common, and Auto ensures the driver selects the best method for each title. When all settings are configured, click Apply. The display may briefly flicker while the driver updates the configuration, then everything will settle and your system will be fully optimized for max FPS, reduced lag, and stable performance across all games. Now guys, we will unlock the full potential of your NVIDIA GPU with my NVIDIA Max Performance Unlock Pack. You can grab it instantly with one click. The link is in the description. Once you have it downloaded, open the GPU Registry Tweaks folder. This is an important step because this folder contains the registry modifications that help Windows prioritize GPU tasks during gaming. Inside, you will see a file named Gaming Performance Registry. This file is the foundation of the entire optimization process. Double-click it, select Yes when Windows asks for confirmation, and then press OK to complete the installation. This tweak signals Windows to give GPU-related workloads higher scheduling priority, which improves responsiveness and reduces bottlenecks during gameplay. Next, you will notice two additional registry files named Low Medium Optimization and Medium High Optimization. These are designed to match your GPU tier, so you can choose the one that suits your system best. If you're using an older or budget-friendly graphics card, select Low Medium Optimization because it gives performance improvements without stressing lower-end hardware. If you have a more powerful or newer NVIDIA GPU, choose Medium High Optimization to push the system harder while maintaining stability. Just double-click the file you need, confirm with Yes, and press OK to finalize the tweak. Now open the folder called GPU Thread Optimization. This contains a specific registry modification tailored for NVIDIA cards that helps improve how your GPU handles multi-threaded workloads. This is especially effective for games that rely on fast thread distribution since it reduces stutters and improves frame time consistency. Double-click the file, press Yes on both confirmation dialogues, and then hit OK. After applying it, your GPU can manage multiple threads more efficiently, which helps keep FPS smoother during fast-paced gameplay. The next step is running the MSI mode utility as an administrator. Once the tool opens, you will see every device connected to your system. Look for your primary NVIDIA graphics card in the list. When you find it, check whether MSI mode is already enabled. If it is not, enable it manually. MSI mode changes the way your GPU processes system interrupts, allowing data to be delivered and handled more efficiently. Enabling this can reduce input lag, fix inconsistent frame times, and create an overall smoother gaming experience. You will also see an interrupt priority option. For most users, keeping it on normal is the safest choice since raising it can cause unstable behavior. Once MSI mode is enabled, click Apply to save the changes, then close the program. Now it is time to fine-tune your GPU using MSI Afterburner. 
After you install and start the program, you will see several sliders on the main interface. These include the core clock, memory clock, power limit, temperature limit, fan control, and voltage adjustment. These are the essential tools for safely optimizing performance. If you want a stable and reliable performance boost without going too far, here are some recommended adjustments that work on most NVIDIA GPUs. Start with the core clock and increase it in small steps of around plus 10 to plus 20 megahertz. This helps improve core speed without destabilizing the GPU. After that, increase the memory clock by around plus 25 to plus 50 megahertz to help your VRAM handle textures and high resolution assets more efficiently. Keep the power limit at 100% since that is the safest and most compatible option for daily gaming. Although raising it can unlock more headroom, the default limit avoids unnecessary heat and stress. Set the temperature limit to around 83 degrees Celsius, since this level balances performance and thermal safety effectively. For the fan speed, keeping it on auto is ideal because the GPU can adjust cooling based on workload. However, if your room is warm or you want lower temperatures, you can set it manually. Just remember that higher fan speeds will make the system louder. Avoid changing the core voltage, since raising the voltage heavily increases heat and can shorten GPU lifespan unless you have high-end cooling and advanced overclocking experience. By applying these adjustments carefully, you can gain noticeable performance improvements while keeping your system stable and safe for long gaming sessions. Alright guys, if you are facing lag and high ping in your favorite games, then Gear Up Booster is the tool you need. Here is how it works. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. Roblox, Fortnite or any game. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game it will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Nod tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one, or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. That's it guys. If you found this guide helpful, hit subscribe and like to stay tuned for more FPS boosting tips. Drop a comment if you tried these tweaks, I'd love to know how much smoother your games feel now.